Melbourne have the size, they have the depth, and if I were them, I would be running. I would be pushing the ball at every occasion. You know, it might not show in the first quarter, the first half even. Drives, that one to drop in. You get a second opportunity, frolling from long range, yes. Gives it to Nelson Adota, then to Wallace. And now to Murray. Oh, hasn't Mia Murray been great for the Melbourne Boomer? Willoughby to Shervin. Wow, great wheel and deal by Shyla Hill. A good start here for the Flames. They're keeping in touch early. Nice inboard pass to Shervin, and she capitalizes and picks up a foul as well. Runs it down the court. Passes inboard to Frolling. Wheels around, that's an excellent shot. Keely Frawling just found a way to score. Oh, and that's another three, the instant response. Here she is, gives it to Mitchell. Passes inboard to George. Now finds her chance, makes the most of it. Flares it across to Willoughby, who adds another two, great finish. Heel. Flares it out wide. Three coming. George will be disappointed in that. It was a great outlet pass by, by Christy Wallace. Clark. Nice find for Frawling. Cutting, slicing to the basket. Not just letting Melbourne walk it up the floor and, and call something. They're extending it up. Here's Mitchell trying to get some points on the board. Let's head down to court side to Renee Garlip. Yeah, Chris was quite calm in that timeout. He said he wasn't too worried about the missed shots. He'd just like to see more movement on offense from the Boomers. Tough shot to execute. Great defense by Tiff Mitchell. She really moved her feet, really moved them laterally to keep her player in front of her. He goes down the other end and adds two more. She's warming up nicely. Back to heel. Playing patiently. Kick out to Roll and sinks a three. Really good finish by Shervin. She recognized where her defense was and, and did that um, reverse layup. Now a good child. Here's Mitchell. Can she get her side going? Gives it off instead. And that's a nice finish from Murray. So they're really willing to try and get each other open. Here's Heel. Shot clock down a three, Frolling. Clark in board to Shervin, adds two more. We, we keep speaking about it, Laurie, but Melbourne Boom is it. Christy Walls bringing the ball up. Mitchell. Inside to George, who finds Nelson a Dota. And she adds two as cut into this lead. The Boomers clean it up. Wallace to Mitchell. Yes. And that's where they can get their points. Good child to Nelson Adota. Makes a charge for it. And that's good execution. Players come to this league, isn't it, Laurie? To, to get that experience, it's great competition. You get great development. Nelson Adota is one of them. Is meanwhile, Clark for three. How about that? Nelson Adota with the rebound. Great blocking out by Christy Wallace. Murray for three. Yes, great shot. Oh, Willoughby. <laughs> Pass it to Shervin. She wasn't ready for it. And now the steal. Wallace for an easy two. Great second chance opportunity. Munga Kahia flicks it out to Willoughby. Heel goes herself and adds two. <laughs> they have the same amount of points in the paint as Sydney do, yet there we go, right straight away. And I that, think. Is, that is the start that <laughs> Melbourne wants to start his second half as Wallace finds her way to the basket for two. They've got height advantage in every single position. Wallace is, is such a great point guard with her height, and, and you know, if she's against Shiley Wheel, post her up. A winning streak should the Flames get up tonight. Bounce pass inside to Mitchell, out to Nelson Adota. Now Wallace for a triple. Mitchell muscles her way to the basket. Just can't get it to drop in. Nelson Adota with the rebound. 
She capitalizes. Great second effort by Nelson Ado. Chris Lucas and, and Guy Malloy, while they do some things uh, similarly, especially the defensive focus, um, you know, offensively, we see a different look and what a great shot. Tracking pretty well with under new coach Chris Lucas. And they're making a charge here in the third, but it's Sydney with a chance. Through Munger here, adds another two. His heel to Froling. Gives it back to Heel. Bounce pass inside for Froling. Well executed. Tough finish between two defenders there. George. Swings it across to Goodchild. Sees an opening and makes the most of it. Shot clock down to five. Heel runs towards the basket. Tough, tough Shyla Heel. Here's Mitchell, sets herself, and this time finds her range. It's not reactive and, and try and dictate a little bit more. Nice back cut by Shyla Heel. Great find by her teammate. Wonderful play there. And that confidence and poise goes a long ways with your experience. Murray, and there is the D1. There is an example of experience. She is the glue of this team. When they need a basket, she comes up with it. She's got the poise. And that is why you're an expert. Wants to get in on the action, but palms it off to Goodchild. Now Nelson, a dota. Does she find the basket? Yes. Boomers are lifting. Flames need a response. Crawling back out to Panousis. Bounce wow. pass to Frolling was excellent. And Frolling with the finish. And to come up there, just got that pass between two defenders. Keeley's great. Swings it across to Mitchell. Season opening. Nails the two. Moves around the baseline. Gives it back to George. Five seconds on the shot clock. Here's a chance. And nails it. Sends it back out to heel. Frolling sets herself. Nice and buries it. Big shot. Mitchell out to George. She's done this before. There's the experience coming to the fourth. Boomers, six point advantage. Wallace. Back out to Davidson and she converts for two. Well, experience and I, and I think those last couple of shots that the Sydney Flames have taken look like tired shots too. They just didn't have the momentum, the legs. And there is Kayla Francis. The double double. Now, Sydney, it's your time to vote for the play. Heel from long range. Brilliant. And that's another 10 point. Can you say it's a good loss? I mean, no one will lose. Honorable loss, maybe a great loss. As we use sometimes, the Melbourne has spoiled the party.